The reviews are in for Ghost in the Shell. Director Rupert Sanders' live-action update of the Japanimation classic by Mamoru Oshii, which stars Scarlett Johansson as a cybernetic superhero. And so far, the critics seem a little spooked. In his review for The Hollywood Reporter, film critic Jordan Mincer suggests the reboot needed to be more human after all. If the ghost refers to the soul looming inside of its killer female cyborg, then this live-action reboot really only leaves us the shell, a heavily computer-generated enterprise with more body than brains, more visuals than ideas, as if the original movie's hard drive had been wiped clean of all that was dark, poetic, and mystifying. Mincher makes a big point of comparing the new version to Mamoru Oshii's 1995 Japanimation masterpiece, a movie he calls a cornerstone of the genre that sits somewhere between Blade Runner and The Matrix. In comparison, Mincer says the team behind the reboot clearly opted for a sleek, watered-down version that eschews much of the first film's AI existentialism for a futuristic shooter that never digs deep enough. Ghost in the Shell met criticism two years ago when Johansson was cast as the part robot, part human Terminatrix, known as Major, a character whose ethnicity had been Asian in Oshi's movie and Masamun Shiro's manga series. While such character whitewashing is an ongoing issue in Hollywood, Mincer suggests the core problem with the new movie is less whitewashing and more brainwashing. The writers dropped the more thought-provoking, cryptic aspects of their source material in favor of a streamlined actioner that jumps from one fight to another without much contemplation. Meanwhile, IndieWire's Mike McCahill argues that part of the problem might be the audience's over-familiarity with the material at hand. The original movie's naughty postmodern inquiries into identity are here stretched into IMAX-ready, 3D-enabled spectacle, he writes. Blown up to this magnitude, ideas already threadbare through 20 years of recycling start to look doubly thin. A more glowing review, however, came from The Telegraph's Tim Roby, who was clearly won over by Johansson's acting, praising her, quote, soulful eyes, welling with memory and confusion, stranded inside a gorgeously supple action figure. Yes, he said gorgeously supple. Moving on, so what's your take on the reviews? Make sure to check out THR's take and a roundup of what the critics are saying right now at THR.com. And what are your thoughts on the live action remake up to now? Are you looking to go see it? Thoughts on Johansson in the lead role? Let me know in the comments for the Hollywood Reporter News. I'm Paul Costable. See you guys.